In Illustrator, you can use a combination of brush stroke and live effect or effect menu to create three dimensional shiny brushes. Now, go to the paintbrush tool, select that, set the color, and I'm going to select red. Don't set the stroke at this point, don't need to. I'm just going to go to the brushes, click that. If you haven't got the brushes, go to window, brushes, to display the brush palette. Now, just apply the brush, so select that. Now, got the brush there, and if you change the stroke size, and that should make it five or six or whatever, or a certain larger amount, the path will end up, this three dimensional path will end up with creases in the path. So it's best to just keep it as a very low amount, so 0 0.25, one point. But right, effect, then 3D, extrude and bevel, preview, and now, so you can see the basic three dimensional shape. Now that's obviously just fairly flat. So I'm just gonna to go to put the cap on, set that. Set the bevel to be rounded because that's basically gonna be the, the thing that's gonna create the shiny three dimensional effect. Set the height and set the bevel extent out. So set that one, that's the, the key thing there and the height 34 point. So now you've got a three dimension. Now, of course, I could change that. Creates a, obviously a bigger sort of design. So just do that. Click OK at that point. Now I could change the color, obviously. I could make it uh, yellow or green. So click OK. Now you've got a three dimensional brush. I can quickly save that if I wish. And I'm just going to quickly say new graphic style. Click there. So it's actually saved. Now if I paint with that, I'm just going to get rid of that. And I can just quickly paint. So just quickly, just draw designs like that. Like I say, you can set the, uh, so great, very quick, easy, three dimensional brushes, shiny brushes. So I'm just gonna quickly get rid of those. And now the key thing here is actually, if you want to apply the brushes, you actually have to set the new art has basic appearance and set that off. So if it's uh, if it's on, that won't work. So just gonna apply that brush again and just select that. So now just keep applying the brush and it will apply. Right, now I'm gonna quickly change the color. Now I could quickly do that. So you can just see it can be, doesn't have to be, uh, I think so you can move that around. Now go over to the appearance palette I can click on that and select preview. I can rotate it around there just by the control in here. So I can do various other options. So I can actually change the lighting color. So direction. So just set that. Also, I can obviously modify it slightly. Also, I can set the perspective. So I'm just going to select perspective to make it more extreme perspective. So click OK. And now I'm just going to save that as well. New graphic style, click OK. And I can paint with that now. Now sometimes you do end up with a few sort of breaks in the design, but uh, most of the time the uh, designs are fairly three-dimensional and complete. So I'm just going to quickly set the size there. You can just change, obviously modify various things. Again, like so they're in the style, so you can just apply them at, to any point. 